dangerous strikers in the game, representing the undisputed era. Kyle O'Reilly gets things done inside the ring. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly has traveled the world over, learning new ways to hurt his opponent. Proficient in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, and many other martial arts. Yeah, equally as equipped to trade strikes as he is to cinch in a debilitating submission hole. I got a feeling someone's about to get their lights turned out, and it's not Kyle O'Reilly. arena this is going to be some battle one-on-one -on -one. Mono here he goes is he done look at this he let it go curious decision there Michael rolling elbow right on the mark Beautiful technique. German suplex! Woo. It was surreal to see Goldberg back in WWE. The energy and intensity that followed him his entire career returned to Monday Night Raw, and it brought him to Fastlane against Universal Champion Kevin Owens. Goldberg was an uncaged animal during his return to WWE, but Kevin Owens displayed his mastery of mind games, making Goldberg wait until Spear Jackhammer, new champion. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. I want to revisit Goldberg versus Kevin Owens. It is absurd that KO had to defend his Universal Championship against Goldberg. Owens didn't have the proper time to prepare, and Goldberg didn't climb the ranks in order to properly earn a title shot. Uh, then you'll love this, Corey. Goldberg is the only superstar to be crowned WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and the WWE Universal Champion. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Bang! Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. 
As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Flying Buster! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's making a statement here with this attack. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Tapped into an energy source and he's going strong. He's looking a little off balance. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Oh, nasty impact. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, he might have it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Boom! Oh, man, what a boot! You gotta believe this one's over. O'Reilly is showing signs that it could be ending soon. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. That's over. Do what you gotta do to maintain the advantage. That's what he... And Goldberg going for the early cover. O'Reilly pops the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? If you ask me, guys, Goldberg is looking to end this right now. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. And unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury, sometimes serious injury. Looking for the finish. What impact. Stepping through. Oh. Grabbing the legs, turning on the belly. Goldberg is looking golden right now. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Drop down. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. What a match. Down with a face buster. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many... Goldberg looking to end it all. Up. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Slam! Impactful. A little jar your spine. Tapped into an energy source and he's going strong. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Double under. Oof. We may be looking at looking for all the glory here. One, two. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. He's always been worth his weight in gold, no matter how hurt he is. He's calling for it. Harsh impact. Counter here. He has him right where he wants him.
what impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Here's the cover. And he got a near fall out of it. He's still in this. Here it comes. He's got him. He's lining him up. He can't take much more. This might be it. Oh, my. But he's got to capitalize now. This could be it. Cover. Goldberg gets the win. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. Look at him go. He ain't messing around. He's getting after it here. And finally... They both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. What? Slam. When this guy's on, look out. Here is Goldberg in position now. If he sticks this, he is done. Thunderous. Thunderous. Buster. Lands this and he is done. here. 